Good morning, it's Alicia with the Dockerty Dozen and it is Sunday morning, 6.30 a.m. I am here for another weekly grocery haul for my family of 12. I wanted to get here when the store opened at six, but I'm not too far off. Harley was already awake at 5 a.m. in true toddler style needing a five course meal. So I'm a little behind in time, but I should, hopefully there's not that many people here, I should get in and out and get home to get breakfast before the rest of the kids wake up. Let's go. Wegmans, when are you gonna sponsor me already? I always sneak in this back door, like employee entrance. Shh, don't tell anyone. But that way, I can just head right to the back of the store. They always have this row of carts over here. So I grab one of those and head on my way. I've got my coffee and my new cup from Aunt Kiki. I've got my shopping list separated by sections of the store. I'm ready to go. Cart one. We need dog food for Miracle. She likes this chicken and brown rice recipe. These caught my eye. They're adorable. I think I'm gonna get those for Miracle and Dixie for Easter. The store is so quiet and peaceful right now. There's no other shoppers. It's just workers stocking the shelves and me. This is why I love coming the minute the store opens. It's so nice. I'm gonna grab some Lysol because, you know, we have seven boys in our house. <laughs> so we need all the help we can get with smelling nice. Some of the kids have been passing around a cold, so we already need more tissues. I don't need any paper plates. I just got those on Monday. I do need more carpet spray because training a puppy. And more paper towels because house training a puppy. I usually buy our printer paper in bulk from Staples, but we're all out. So I'm just gonna grab one of these and then I'll have to order later. Uh, we just go through a ton of printer paper in my house. We also go through a ton of markers in my house because toddlers don't know how to put lids back on markers. We are out of gallon Ziploc bags, so I like to buy the family pack of that, which is four boxes, but they are all out of that. So I'm just going to get, I guess, two boxes of gallon Ziploc bags and sandwich size bags because we are nearly out of those too. These are the ice packs I use in the kids' lunches every day in case anybody wanted to know. Speaking of lunches, I need more disposable containers because some days I pack leftovers from dinner for the kids' lunches the next day, so these are really useful to have. Fun fact, you cannot buy alcohol before 8 a.m. in New York. Lucky for me, I stocked up on White Claw Monday. I need the kids' chocolate-dipped granola bars. And I've been wanting some, and I've been wanting some Nature Valley bars lately. So I'm gonna grab a pack of those since, you know, whatever I want for my snack, the kids are gonna want for their snack too. I also grabbed more strawberry jelly and salsa. And that very quickly filled up cart one. So I'm gonna go leave that up front and grab my shopping list grab my coffee and move on go get another cart I 
part two, 6.48 a.m. One of my kids asked for cornbread this week. I cannot remember which one. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it. It's so cheap, why not have it on hand? I always grab a can of pumpkin because my kids love pumpkin chocolate chip bread. And I just remembered that Brie told me she needs chocolate chips for a school party. Um, I think that I will get the big pack since, I mean, it needs to feed her whole class. It's like an ice cream topping for a party. So yeah, this should be enough. I'll get that for Bree's class and then I'll get a small bag of chocolate chips for pumpkin chocolate chip bread. This just caught my eye. Zoe's 10th birthday is on Sunday, so I'm gonna grab this. She loves Fruity Pebbles and she loves cake. How can I go wrong? I already need flour again. I do still have sugar left from my last Costco haul, so that's a bonus. Grab some bread pans. Brie likes to have her snack pack puddings sometimes, so I'm gonna get a pack of those. We just ran out yesterday. And I also just remembered we ran out of cooking spray. We go through a lot of that in my house, not a surprise. So I'm gonna go ahead and get four bottles. Is that a bottle? I don't know. Things of cooking spray. Oh my gosh, look, ketchup chips. I am so excited. Every Monday we cook food from another part of the world and this Monday we're doing Canada. How perfect is that to find ketchup chips today? Okay, I need to make some room in this cart for more stuff. So let's consolidate everything. I need elbow pasta for homemade mac and cheese on Wednesday. I promise I will post the recipe this time. I need all of my tomato products for my homemade Sunday sauce again, because this time I'm going to use it for homemade lasagna on Sunday for Zoe's birthday dinner. Diced tomatoes, four cans of that. Tomato sauce, tomato paste. and four jars of tomato basil marinara. Then I'm gonna get a big jar of sauce for make your own pizza night on Friday. I need more parm already at the rate that my kids go through it. I am not getting lasagna noodles here. I will show you in a minute what kind of lasagna noodles I get. We do need more mustard. And applesauce cups. My oldest three kids like applesauce cups. And then six of the other kids prefer applesauce pouches. And then Jordan will only eat the fruit cups, but I already have fruit cups at home. I'm gonna get this applesauce just in case Nana is not able to make homemade applesauce this week like the kids want her to. Speaking of Nana, who is my mother-in-law, I always grab a can of olives to have every week because she loves her black olives and she comes every Tuesday to help me with the kids. Part of Harley's five course toddler meal this morning was canned carrots. <laughs> so I'm gonna get more of those. Gotta get this week's ration of ranch dressing. My kids dip everything in ranch. And I'm pretty sure that I need more mayonnaise too. I'm gonna get some chocolate covered raisins. Dash loves these. I haven't bought them in a while because he kind of stopped eating them. So I'm gonna buy them again and see if he likes them again. 
I'm also going to get some Mountain Mix Trail Mix. James loves this stuff. I'm going to get the pre-portioned packages. A lot of time kids who were adopted from foster care struggle with figuring out portion control. So those pre-packaged ones are helpful. I'm going to get jelly beans for a super cute Easter treat I do every year. And this just caught my eye. Zoe will love this. I'm going to add this to her birthday present pile. I'm going to get some chocolate covered pretzels for one of my daily charcuterie boards. With 10 kids, I have to get two packs of them. Gotta get Zoe her Cheez-Its. They are out of the big box of Cheez-Its though. Uh, I don't wanna get extra toasty. I don't know if she likes that kind. So I guess, okay, wait, they have the smaller box. So I'll just get a few smaller boxes of Cheez-Its original. It's fine, it'll be fine. I'll get a big bag of Pirate's Booty for Jason. He could probably eat this whole bag himself. And I'm gonna get some of the pre-portioned bags of veggie sticks. The kids love these things. I am all out of the regular Lay's potato chips that I pack in their lunches, so I'm gonna grab a few of these. James has been having some food aversion issues lately, but goldfish crackers is definitely a safe food for him. So I'm gonna get those. And also vanilla wafers, also a safe food for him. I'm gonna get those. Bodhi, my five-year-old with autism, loves his crunchy cookies. <laughs> so I always make sure I get a few boxes of those. I'm gonna get some of the mini chips ahoy and I'll get some Oreos too. They are out of Breeze chocolate chip muffin bites, um, but that's okay because I'm doing a Target haul tomorrow. So it's all good. I'll get them at Target, hopefully. I'll get Patrick some of his frosted animal cookies. Which just reminded me, we are all out of animal crackers. We go through several bags of Tostitos a week. And I'm going to get Alex some of his spicy hot Doritos. He always loves to have those. And I'll grab a bag of these big potato chips for Zoe's birthday. And yeah, that filled up cart two. So I'm gonna stick that up front by the manager stand with cart one. Cart three, 7.15 a.m. Gotta get Capri Sun for their lunches. Oh, they have the big pack again. Score. We go through a box of Capri Sun a day. So when I can find the big pack of that, that's awesome. I'm going to get Coke because this week for our float challenge, we're going to try Coke floats. I also need to grab some Pepsi because I like to have that on hand in case I get any of my horrible headaches. Pepsi seems to help. Are you team Coke or team Pepsi? Alex is all out of his sparkling ice drinks that he likes to take to school every day. That should last him two weeks. Gotta get the bottled water for the week. I need condensed beef broth to make the poutine on Monday night.
and Zoe has been asking me to get chicken noodle soup. She likes this chunky chicken noodle soup, any brand really. And I think I'm going to get myself some vegetable soup. Who says 41 year olds can't have alphabet soup? I'm gonna head over to get the milk next. Gotta get Bodhi his green cap 1% milk. And vanilla almond milk. Let's see if they have my caramel macchiato creamer in stock. It looks like no. That's okay. I have one more at home and I'll check at Target tomorrow. So let me show you what I use when I make homemade lasagna. I get these pre-made fresh lasagna sheets. That way I don't have to pre-cook the noodles. I can just put them right into the lasagna like this and they will soften up and cook in the sauce while it's baking. I'm going to get two packages of those to make a huge lasagna. I also need to get some ricotta for the lasagna filling. I think I'll get some whipped cream so we can finally do the whipped cream challenge that we never got around to. Definitely excited because they have Bodhi's yogurt in stock. I also need to get Jordan's vanilla yogurts and James and Bree's fruit yogurts. Plus we use those for fruit smoothies. And you know I gotta get Alex's peach yogurts. I'm gonna grab these bunny cookies for one of the charcuterie boards this week. And these biscuits for my cute Easter treat that I make. I can always grab a few pizza Lunchables. Always grab hot dogs. It's the best backup dinner when you're in a crunch. Sour cream for fajita night. And cream cheese. My kids love bagels with cream cheese. James will be so excited and they have strawberry cream cheese in stock again. I'm gonna grab bologna for Jordan's lunch sandwich. move on to the cheese section. I love these five pound bags of shredded cheese here. I'm going to get one of the cheddar and one of the mozzarella. Gotta get fajitas. We're doing chicken fajitas and steak fajitas on Tuesday. I always get bricks of cheese for the charcuterie boards. And I still have to get cheese curds for the poutine. I don't know where to find those. I've never bought them before. I'm just going to keep looking and hope I find them. Okay, wait. I did find them. Now I don't know what flavor to get. I guess I just get the regular flavor. I've never made poutine before. I've never ate poutine before, so... Hopefully I'm buying the right thing. Canadians, let me know. This cart is getting full, so I'm going to swing through the toiletry section on my way up front, get Harley her rubber bands for her pigtails. Brie loves this line of tea tree hair care. I'm gonna get that for her. 
Actually, I see that they have the bigger ones. So I'm going to put that back and I'm going to go get one of the bigger ones down there. Conditioner and shampoo. Zoe has requested chapstick because her lips have been chapped. And I'm obsessed with this Dr. Teal's line for the little ones. It smells so good. Brie also needs more body wash. Brie and Patrick have really sensitive skin. And so I had asked their biological mom about it. And this is what their mom uses. So this is what I started buying for Brie and Patrick. And it really does seem to help. Grab some toothpaste and I'm gonna leave this card up front and go get another one. Part four. I'm going to head to the meat section next. We need lobster tail for dinner on Monday. And yeah, 12 lobster tails adds up quick. They finally have brown and served sausage back in stock. Last week, I tried to get the kids turkey sausage. They did not like that. So I'm going to grab several bags of these. I need pepperoni for make your own pizza night. I'm going to get some of the pre-cooked bacon for Dash's bacon sandwiches. Sausage for grill night on Wednesday. Chicken breasts for chicken fajitas on Tuesday. <laughs> and we're also doing steak fajitas on Tuesday. So I'm going to get two flank steaks for that. try and find Montreal smoked meat for around the world Monday Canada night let's see I am not finding it I might have to actually talk to someone anxiety hi do you know if you have Montreal smoked meat Montreal smoked meat it's like a Canadian thing it would be in like the kosher section Okay. Um, over in dairy, there is another culture section. And frozen. Oh, okay. All right. Awesome. Thank you. So they do not have what I wanted. I'm going to get Josh his bologna and cheese. And then I'm going to just get roast beef. And we're going to um, we're gonna have to pretend that it's Montreal smoked meat. I'm sorry, Canada. This is taking a long time, so I'm gonna get crumb cake for the kids' breakfast today. And head over to the bread section. I'll get a few loaves of white bread for their daily sandwiches. A few dozen bagels for breakfast. I need hot dog and hamburger buns for grill night this week. Hawaiian rolls. I need pizza crust for make your own pizza night. I usually get four packs of these, so there's 20 pizzas. And I need rye bread for Canada night.
that cart is full, I'm gonna leave it up front and take a potty break. I'm gonna go grab one more cart. I don't remember what cart number I'm on. I need clementines. Oranges. Peppers for fajita night. Did you know that green peppers give me reflux, but the other ones don't? These strawberries look really good. Let me check the bottom just to be sure. They pass Mom Doherty inspection. I'm going to get a few tomatoes. I can't wait until we have our garden going again and I don't need to buy tomatoes anymore. And I just noticed that they have green tomatoes in stock, so I'm going to get a few of those for Josh. He loves fried green tomatoes. My kids have been going through apples like crazy. I'm gonna need to get this pack of Empire apples. The kiwi is not looking good today, so I'm going to pass and come later in the week for kiwi. Time for bananas. You know I'm picky with my bananas. I like them slightly green, no brown spots, so that I know they'll last at least a day. No brown lines. This will be good for a few days, a day or two, I'd say. We need more carrots. And Josh likes this ranch vegetable dip. I don't know what's any different than ranch dressing, but whatever. Okay, I'm going to move over to the freezer section. I need dumplings for Zoe's birthday on Sunday. I'll get some chicken dumplings and vegetable dumplings. garlic bread for the lasagna and for ravioli bake on Thursday. Could I make burgers from scratch for dinner Wednesday? Yes. Yes, I could. Could I also buy them already made in, in the freezer section? Yes. Yes, I will. The Doherty house is somehow out of dino nuggets. I, I think that should be illegal. And in poor meal planning form, we're having french fries for dinner twice this week. Four bags of fries, hash browns for breakfast for dinner next Saturday. I need Mott's sticks for Zoe's birthday on Sunday. 
Whenever it's our kid's birthday, we make the entire day their favorite foods. So she has requested mozzarella sticks. She also loves pizza rolls, so I'm going to get some of those. I'll get a bag of cheese and a bag of the combo ones. going to get cauliflower crust for make your own pizza night. Josh and I prefer these to the regular crust because, you know, we're old and gluten makes us bloat. I'm going to get cookie dough ice cream for Sunday Sunday. It's something James invented where we have an ice cream Sunday every Sunday. And then I need vanilla ice cream for our float challenge this week. And that is it. I cannot believe I filled up five carts today. I'm gonna head over to check out. I like to find one of the wider aisles. It's easier to load up five carts of groceries onto. Fun fact, People Magazine did an article about us a year ago. That was a long receipt. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the van. They have the five carts sitting outside the door so I can drive up and load everything in. I'm super lucky today. They actually have two workers helping load in groceries for me. That was awesome. We got in and out uh, in <laughs> two and a half hours. Okay. But this was a longer haul because we have Zoe's birthday and that's like a whole day of like, you know, food um, to plan. And around the world Monday always takes me some time to find the products I did not find everything I needed but it's close enough I did a good haul I had two people helping me load it so that went really quick so that was awesome I texted Josh to wake the teens up yes it's nine o'clock on a Sunday I'm so mean they need to wake up and help carry this stuff in all the kids help carry it in but I mean who are we kidding? The teens are really the only ones who actually are helpful. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you everything once we get it carried in. And here is the haul of groceries for our family of 12 for one week. Six gallons of milk, cookies and Cheez-Its and chips and granola bars and snacks. Pizza crust, fajitas, bread, bagels, buns, yogurt, canned and jarred items, drinks. Nice. Cheese. Yes, honey. Frozen products. And the meats for the week. Harley move. Harley move. Harley move. Harley move. Cleaning supplies, baking supplies, paper products, more chips, and the produce. Need you. Can't forget the toiletries. This was definitely a pricier week for us, but like I said, we had Zoe's birthday, um, around the world Monday, Canada night with the lobster tail that set us over a little bit. So yeah, 
We don't normally spend quite this much, but that's okay. It's not a birthday every week. Okay, and that is it for today. I changed my clothes when I got home, and that's it. I gotta put everything away while Harley plays the recorder in my face. Thank you for joining me shopping today. You are strong, you are beautiful, you are loved, you belong, and I'm so proud of you. We'll see you tomorrow.